What is up, guys? Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode on the Echo Craft server. Hope you guys are having a mindtastic day today. I am having a great day. So, guys, in the last episode, we worked on a few things, but we mainly worked over here on a new room for the escape room or trick room, whatever you want to call it. And the one we worked on was this one right over here. Um, so let's see if we can't just slip on into here. Do that. And then the next one that we had to do was right through here. I don't have... Okay. So we're just going to uh, try our best to get over there. Yeah. Oh, I thought I made it. <laughs> I thought I made it. I thought I made it. But I didn't. Okay. This is the room here. So we had like the target block where you had to shoot it. And then you can get the leather boots and go down here and all of that good stuff. So... Pretty, oh, don't die. Pretty sweet little area there. I really like it. But we've got some other stuff that we need to do today. And I'm going to redo that. That's okay. We got some other stuff we need to do today. And I'm really wanting to work on the mega base. So let me get some stuff together, guys. And then we're going to go over what we're going to work on for today. All right, guys. So I got some stuff together here. We're back over at the mega base. And what I'm wanting to start on today is I want to finish this floor over in this side here. And I also want to try to work on the walls some today, get up uh, just a little bit of something uh, to give it, you know, a little bit more texture. This flat wall is just not doing it for me. So I want to do something for that, and it should go along pretty well with this. I don't know. We will see. I might eventually want to start adding in some new colored blocks as well. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but I do want to go ahead and get started on the floor, and then we'll start working on the walls, and then we got a couple other things that we need to do in this episode as well. So I've got some materials here. All I've got to do is get over to the other side of there, start digging out the blocks kind of like how we did here. Here, and then place down the blocks in the correct uh, orientation and um, I'm also probably going to get a little time-lapse video of this so you guys just sit back and relax and um, I'm gonna get to uh, digging up some of these calcite blocks and placing down these other blocks instead to make the floor look that much better Alright, we've got the floor in. It is looking fantabulous. I think it looks great. Hopefully you guys think the same way. 
But next, we need to start working on the actual base portion of this. Um, so, or I, I say base portion, I mean like the actual like side walls of the base. <laughs> I don't know why I said base portion, but anyway, um, what I need to do is try to figure out how to match it up with this, which it should match up okay. Um, but then I need to bring some blocks across as well. So let me work with this side over here or that side over there, whichever one, really quick. Get some stuff going down here and then we'll come back, check it out, make sure that it looks good. And then we'll continue to go around with it all the way around if it does look good. And boom, there we go. So we've got the side all done here. I think this is looking really good. It's a good start. The only reason it's not that filled in down here is because eventually we're going to have stuff here, you know, like a storage system or um, a place to go get new armor or whatever that might be. So um, I also think that I want to bring, do I want to bring that down, bring this down some? Yeah, let's do that. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. All right, so that is the side there. Nothing too crazy. We just got some dark oak wood. We got some dark oak stairs up here in the top to kind of give it that little bit of an arch feel. Then we got some here to hold that up. And then we got some fences in there just for some extra support. And then the carpets to go along with what we did over here. So I think that looks really cool. I really like that. Um, I think we just need to go ahead and do this all the way around the whole thing. Now, how I've been doing this is a little bit of a pain in the butt just because you have to have um, some scaffolding here to be able to um, reach the blocks. So I've just been taking the scaffolding and moving it all the way down on the side that I'm going to be working. So we'll just bring this all the way down to like right there. And then we're just taking some dark oak logs and coming along and placing them in, just going all the way down this side here at the top. Just kind of like a support beam, I, I guess you could say. I don't know what it is, but with Minecraft, I really like doing uh, support beams with the wood. It just makes it feel like the structure has that much more integrity. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me being somewhat of an engineer. <laughs> I'm really not sure. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to bring this all the way across. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do right here on the side just yet. So we're just going to end it like right there. And then what we're doing is we're just skipping four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and then bringing this down three, and then one, two, three, four, and then this will go all the way down to the bottom, but we'll do that here in a second once we get down there. Um, so three there, and then skip four blocks, do the same thing. I'm hoping this matches up, but there's a good chance that it's not going to. Um, was that four there? I think that was four. Yeah, that was four. Um, let's get up here. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I'll take that. And then maybe this can just go in and then come down. We'll worry about that in one moment. The next thing that I need to do is I need to take these stairs and I need to place them, if I can, like this. It's kind of hard, um, but we only want to do this on the three, on the ones that go down three. So we're going to skip this one and we'll put one over here and put one on this side as well, and then do the same thing to this guy over here. I messed that one up, so I have to fix that. Let's grab that, break it, and then place down another stair, perfect. All right, and then the other ones are gonna have three tall fences on both sides, so fairly simple here, just three tall fences. Uh, there we go, perfect, perfect. And then we haven't brought that down yet, so we won't worry about that just yet. But now we can come in here and we can bring these in. And actually, let's see, let's make sure. No, that one does come across. Okay. And then where it comes with the ones that come all the way down, we're going to bring the stairs to a side just like that. Um, and that way it looks like that it supports and connects up to it a little bit better. Um, then we'll do the same thing here and the same thing here and then bring this all the way down and then we'll probably have one there so let's just do something like this for now all right i had to grab a little bit more wood here all right so let's uh bring this down this is going to come all the way down to the floor here we'll do this on both of these guys right there 
perfect and then we need to get back up here and put in the carpets now i don't think i have enough carpets yeah i only have seven carpets so i'm gonna have to go get some more carpets really quick but that is how we're doing it just like that very very easy very simple i have to figure out these sides here but the rest of this should be nothing but a piece of cake all right guys we got everything in here um, everything's looking good. I got all the carpets up there, all the blocks, everything is looking great. We can fly all the way around here and you can see that it is all in and that gives it a lot more texture. I'm really liking that. It looks a whole lot better than just that plain wall. But the next thing that I'm wanting to do guys is I'm wanting to clean this up a little bit. As you can see, our storage system <laughs> is kind of cutting into our wall design here. Um, so what I'm wanting to do is to make a new storage system. Now, I'm not going to have this one redstone activated or anything like that. It's just going to be a regular storage system like that. But we're going to have some item frames and stuff on the front and make it look a little bit better. So I'm thinking on having it go back here. So like maybe this section and this section. And then if we get bigger, we can put some there and there. But I'm thinking for right now, just these two sections. I think that would be really, really cool for a storage system. And like I said, just set up some chests, put some uh, item frames on it, stuff like that. So nothing too crazy. Um, but what I'm going to do is we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, and we're going to need to split some of this stuff up a little bit more. Like some of this stuff should be redstone and the miscellaneous and then like other blocks and stuff like that. So I need to split that up some. But first off, we just need to get some chests, which I should have some wood somewhere. There we go. So we need some chests, and we're just gonna go ahead and put some chests up over there and kind of get it uh, laid out and figured out exactly how we're going to do it here. So let me make a bunch more chests, guys, and go ahead and get it laid out over there, and then we'll come back. We'll start moving everything over, and uh, we'll also start labeling everything. All right, there we go. So we've got all of the chests in, and we've also got some item frames on them. So what I'm wanting to do now is just to gather a few different blocks and use those as the item frame. So we'll say like for the wood, we're going to use, uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, spruce wood, should we use spruce wood? I guess we could use spruce wood. I kind of want to use dark oak, but that's okay. All right, so we'll have like a spruce wood block for um, the wood chest. Let me take some of this stuff out of my inventory actually. And that way we'll have more room to work here. All right, so we're going to have one for, like, wood, and then we're going to have one for, like, stone stuff. So do I have, like, a piece of stone somewhere? I should have a piece of stone. There's no way that I don't have at least one piece of stone. There we go. All right, so then we'll have, like, some stone, and then we can have, like, a chest for, I don't know, like, iron and gold. And then we can have another chest for, like diamonds and stuff um do i have i do have a diamond on me let's make one of these into a diamond block shall we there we go we'll do something like that and i took my pickaxe off that's fine all right so then we'll have one for like diamonds and coal or then we can have one for like coal and redstone so basically you guys get the idea here i'm just going to be running through here and grabbing materials um that will correspond to whatever we put in that chest um, so I may do like a grass block there, you know, just, just whatever it may be, um, anything, um, mob drops, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go through all of this, do all of that. And then once I get done with that, we will come back and, uh, kind of go over exactly what we've got going on here. All right. That is our last chest there. And everything that was in that chest is actually the stuff that we dropped off. So all of this is ours. So, um, yeah, there we go. We should be good to go. We're just going to organize this just a little bit here. And um, everything over there should be moved. So that is awesome. Everything except for whatever is in these, if there's anything in these. So maybe we need to uh, clear some of this stuff out. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear this stuff out as well. And that way we will have everything over here. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, everything's looking good. We'll go over um, all the different spots and what's in those spots. So let me just finish putting 
all of this stuff up here should not take very long there we go perfect all right so like i said if we um need extra space we can use this and this right now we've got one two three four five six chests that are open so not a whole lot but what we're working with here is these first two are going to be our dirt um and then right beside that is going to be two grass chests here which are pretty full then we've got some stone chests and then we've also got some cobblestone chests and both of these both of these are going to be wood items and then we've got andesite then we've got granite diorite this right here is coarse dirt and pod soil this is tough blocks, but also any type of moss or stone bricks, chiseled stone, basalt, uh, uh, black stone, all that different stuff's going in there. All of this is going to be the deep slate items. Um, all of this is going to be nether stuff, so including blocks of quartz and... Uh, uh, nether bricks and magma blocks stuff like that. This one's empty. Then we've got one for calcite We've got one for concrete and concrete powder and we've got gravel and we've got stuff for wool and carpets um, Oops, let's fix that close enough um, Glass and then we've got glass panes all of the stuff for prismarine um, Guardian stuff in there then we've got saplings, leaves, dead bushes, bone blocks, kelp, stuff like that, grass. Um, then we've got seeds, and then we've also got the mushroom blocks in here as well, which actually, I think I'm going to move those two over here. And the same thing with the nether wart. Then we've got stuff for honeycomb, sand, sandstone, red sand, red sandstone, ice, blue ice, regular ice, and packed ice. Then we've got some flowers, sea pickles, the red mushroom blocks, um, nether warts. Then we've got glazed terracotta, regular terracotta, colored terracotta, clay, and clay balls. Then we've got new items um, here for like the azalea bushes, moss, dripstone, um, azale or moss blocks, all of that stuff. Then we've got um, edible items here, but they're, they're not food items. So we've got wheat. Um, I guess glowberries technically are, but we're going to leave those there. We've got sugarcane, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, bamboo, uh, cactus. Then we've got actual food items here. So all the different types of food items. Then we've got different types of dye. Then we've got puffer fish, tropical fish, any type of other fish we get besides um, some other ones. All of these are empty here. Then we've got some for ender pearls. Then we've got mob drops, but these are mob drops of passive mobs, so mobs that won't hurt you. Then we've got mob drops here of the mobs that will hurt you, so the monsters. Um, and then these guys here need to go over there. That is also some gum powder there, so we'll leave that there. Let's move this stuff over. All right, um, then we've got uh, fire charges flint, just extra stuff there. Then we've got some music discs, any type of lighting items here. So we got glowstones, soul torches, regular torches, sea lanterns, lanterns, all that good stuff. Um, then we've got powdered snow chest. This one's also empty. Then we've got coral blocks. This is for crying obsidian and obsidian and end stuff, but we don't really have any end stuff. Then we've got stuff for the amethyst, amethyst and amethyst shards. So geode stuff goes in there besides the calcite and I guess also the, what, what's the other block? It's not tough, it's the basalt. Yeah, so we'll just keep amethyst in there. Then we've got redstone supplies minus the actual redstone. Then we've got rails. We've got TNT. This is a miscellaneous chest, so it holds our scaffolding. Different stuff like chains, fence gates, stuff like that. I'll, actually, this, this fence, we may go ahead and put that over here because I think we have fences. Yeah, so let's put that over there. Um, then we got bells, written books, compasses, all the extra stuff over here. Then we've got um, buckets of fish, and also if we have any buckets of axolotls. Then we've got horse um, armor. We've got saddles, leads, name tags. This is miscellaneous for uh, chests and also um, workstation items. Then we've got some heads and some little blocks that we get from the wandering traders or mini blocks. 
Then we've got enchanted books and regular books and both of those. More um, mob heads and um, stuff from the uh, Wandering Trader, the mini blocks. And then we've got some potions plus some uh, water bottles. This is for the picks. This is for any type of armor. This is for axes, hoes, flints, and shears, and shovels also. This is for any sword items, crossbows, swords, bows. Then we've got stuff for uh, coal, which includes charcoal, any types of variants there. Then we've got iron and cop, or sorry, iron and gold, any types of variants. Then we've got regular redstone and uh, redstone blocks and ores. Then the same thing with the lapis down here. And then we've got copper ore. Then we've got um, regular copper stuff, netherite stuff, um, emeralds, and then any diamonds will go in there. So there we go, guys. We actually. <laughs> we got a lot more of this, um, I, I guess a lot different variants of chests than I thought we would. We only ended up with uh, six chests that are not used, which I'm sure those could be used. And honestly, there's probably items that we could move around, like stuff in here could probably be moved around. Stuff in here could be moved around. Um, and then also we could probably do something with that. But that's okay. I'm not worried about that right now. We've got a sword system all set up and ready to go. And then we've also got a little area here with some blast furnaces a regular furnace smoker crafting table blacksmithing and then we've got also an inner chest and actually i want to take one of these and swap this out for um one of the stone cutters so let's put the stone cutter down in there and let's face it like that perfect all right so there we go we got our storage uh section all done here and i think it actually looks really good i'm glad um that we got this up because everything over here was just getting cluttered and just getting a mess also moved the chest that was right there and um some of the stuff that was over here as well now we need to go ahead and fix this which this should not take too long so let me do that really quick there we go Perfect. All right, so we got that fixed. So now the wall is all done, technically. I guess I didn't think about that, but that is okay. All right, so let's throw this stuff back over here, and there we go. So our base, guys, is um, turning out to actually look pretty good. It's pretty empty at the moment, but don't let that fool you. We are going to fill this place up, and I'm just, I, I cannot get over our little area over here. We need to open this up as well so that we have more than one area to walk in. We've only got this one area at the moment, but we need more than one. How is our fishes doing? I haven't checked on our fishies. Hey, fishies. Oh, look, Jer Jerry. Hey, Jerry. We didn't name all of these, and that's okay. They never despawn, so that is good. We got our fish in here. They're good to go. Is our fox still up there? <laughs> there he is. Look at it, just hanging out. Foxy Jr., what are you doing up there? <laughs> that's awesome. All right, I'm really liking the space, guys. It's coming together very, very nicely. Storage system's looking good. The walls are coming together. We need to start working on the woot. The woof. We need to start working on the woof, guys. <laughs> we need to start working on the roof as soon as we can. Most likely next episode. We don't have enough time in this episode to do that. There's actually one more thing that I'm wanting to do for this episode. And that is we need to go on another mining session. Now, you guys might be asking, Dylan... Why are we going on so many mining sessions? You got three stacks of diamonds. I mean, you don't really need any more. You got a shop. It's got stuff in it. People can buy stuff from there. The reason we need to do that, guys, is because with the new 1.18 update or the 1.18 update, it makes it a lot, and I mean a lot, harder to get diamonds. Where diamonds are, they're down at the very bottom, and that is mostly where the deep slate is, and if you don't know, you can't insta mine deep slate with efficiency 5 and haste 2 beacon. So it's going to be a lot harder to get diamonds. So before we swap over to 118, I would like to go in another mining session. See if I can't get another stack or two of diamonds just so we can have some extra left over just in case we have a hard time getting some in the near future. So we had a pretty decent mining trip, I guess guess you could say um i did end up dying a few times as you can see here um yeah creeper blew me up even though it was like from me to the shulker box over there and it blew me up i don't know how that happened and then i kept on trying to get back down there and get my stuff and 
the the zombies were doing that like group spawn thing where there was like 15 billion of them all down there at the bottom so i kept on dying but i finally got my stuff back everything is good to go i was going to try to get a stack of diamond ore but we ended up with 56 which is plenty enough i would have had to move the beacon and i really just didn't feel like doing that so We've got 56 here. You guys leave a comment down below how many you think we're going to get. I'm going to say two stacks and two. That's what I'm going to say. But you guys put your comments down below and let me know what you're going to get. I'm going to break all of these up and then we're actually going to see what we end up with. And we ended up getting a little less than two stacks. Okay. I was close. I was, what? That's 14 off. I was 14 off. Okay. Big whoop de doo Who cares? All right. I did spend a few of our diamonds because I need to go get some more rockets. So now we've got a full shulker box. Whoops. They're in the wrong one. We've got a full shulker box here of rockets. So we are good to go there. That is perfect. Um, we'll do that and we'll move everything over awesome and then we can put all this stuff up and actually well let's just do this I need to go repair this pig <laughs> once again I had to do that earlier and I've got to do it again but that's okay we've got a bunch more diamonds now and I'm honestly probably going to go mine for some more off camera but we've got an awesome storage system here. Even though it's not redstone, it's looking very good. It goes well with the base. The base is looking awesome. We need to get a roof on this thing fairly, fairly soon. But besides that, that that's probably the biggest thing that needs to be done. Um, but there is also a lot of stuff in the inside that we want to do or we need to do as well. But this is looking good. I'm loving this. We've worked on the base. We worked on the storage system. We went mining to get some more diamonds for one before 1.18 comes out or 1.18 comes out. So that is awesome. I am happy about that. But guys, that is going to do it for me in this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please just hit that like button. Really, please just hit that like button. It really helps out the channel if you do. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out another video. Now, in the next episode, we are most likely going to be working on the base, but there might be some other really cool stuff going on. So just make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. This has been Dylan Ryan, and I am out.